What's up, dogs? The OD here. Imagine it's prom night. Wow, this might actually be true for some of us now that I'm considering it. Oof, that's deep. Well, it's prom night and prom's not happening. At least, not for you. You're just not cool. Your popular friends don't care about you. They're having a post-prom party and you're just home all alone by yourself. But, as it turns out, there's a serial killer on the loose, and they have decided to strike that house party. So I guess in a way it's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> but unfortunate for you, that killer is not stopping there. It is heading over to you. The only problem is that you didn't know about this at whatsoever. You're kinda just minding your own business, assuming your non-existential life. <laughs> making do with what you can and now we're here with home on prom night so it's a spoof on the uh old school slasher movies well frick me right it's nearly midnight on freaking prom night my prom night but where am i that's right here at home like a total loser no one asked me to be their prom date, and my so-called friends are all at some after party by now without inviting me like usual. They never invite me to anything, I swear. You hear about all these wild sleepovers and parties happening, but I'm always the geek home all by herself. Can't wait to tell people I spent my prom them tidying the girls' bathroom alone. <sighs> I am so cutting out of those a-holes off after graduation. Dude, why didn't you cut them off like years before? You don't need that sort of toxic toxicity in your life. This movie was freaky. The poster is cool though. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, I'm so angry. But damn, this poster just puts a smile on my face. <laughs> hey, kitty. My heart glasses. Frick. I remember when I got these. I guess I left them out when I was tidying up. Sure, put them on. Red. <laughs> Not gonna lie. If I was home alone on prom night, I would probably be doing the same thing. My tape of the undead pizza delivery boys from Hell soundtrack. The theme song was the only good track. It wasn't even a scary movie, but the main character was cute. I'm such a sucker for a pretty face. Ugh. Why am I such a sucker? <laughs> Guess I left out this tube of hair dye, but I touched up my hair last month. Oh, that doesn't feel too good. All cleaning up does is reveal the crusty bottom layers of mess. Why does anyone like doing it? Whoops, should have picked that up. At least it smells okay at the moment. Ah, oh, you grody girl. Ugh, oh my god, at least there's no ketchup on it. I like this shirt. Frick. I'm totally gross. Whatever. No one saw. <laughs> See, this is why you actually don't have friends. And they're all fake friends. You're disgusting. They don't want to sniff you. Why did I even get this stupid cube? They're way too hard. What's That's what I get for trying to follow trends. I got it years ago, but I never made more than a side. Wish I was at least a smart kind of geek. Ah, uh, don't worry. All people do is just follow an algorithm. And they just memorize the algorithm. It has nothing to do with actual skills. All my good hair, crap. Okay, maybe it does. <laughs> For when I want to look less like a troll. I'm out of hairspray, though. Look at that, trash. Just like me. Ugh, ugh, she's teetering into that uh depression area. All my good tapes are up here, and I can never reach them. I swear, the mixtape I made Bobby is lost up there somewhere. Frick me. Who cares about Bobby? He didn't ask you to prom. He probably asked your best friend. I guess that's for the best. I keep way too much stuff on top of the wardrobe. Oh, I'll fall down one day. And then, boom, I'll get buried under it and be dead. What a way to go. <laughs> this just in. <laughs> oh my god, this one movie totally messed me up. Like, imagine something like that happening. No thanks. This movie sucked. All blood and gore and no screaming with some random soft heads. Screwing to spice it up. Pointless. But were they attractive? I wonder if there's any good music on the radio I haven't heard before. Uli is the most grotesque thing our on-the-scene reporters has ever seen. What a blatant disregard for life, youth, and the potential of both. 
If you're just joining us, let me say again that this is an emergency news update. This is breaking news. People in blood chilling at that. This beautiful night, an irreplaceable formative experience for many of our town's fresh new adults. I get it. I didn't go to Brown. Has gone from prom night magic to bloody and tragic. It pains me as a father myself to have to. Ugh. Prom Night Tragic is right. It's like that reporter knew there was some uncool geek left home alone tonight. Which I guess he might. It's a small tiny town after all. I wouldn't be shocked if my rejection was hot gossip already. I never got invited to anything. Last summer, when everyone else was off being counselors at that camp, I was sitting here eating candy in my pajamas. And that sounded like a total scream. And the summer before, when my so-called friends went on that road trip to that awesome cabin, I had to settle for working shifts at the video store. Crap. They leave me out of everything. Even when the other girls get together to babysit, I'm always stuck here by myself. Frick them. They can die for all I care. Ho 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 ho. Little did you know. A little TV will distract me, even if the signal here is weak. The excuses I make for my supposed friends. Grizzly scene. It really proves that even in a small, friendly community like ours, monsters are all too real. As of now, we have no confirmation on the number of victims. The only comment we have to go on so far is that what remains resembles, and this is a quote from a seasoned professional, leftover confetti. <laughs> Thanks, professional. That's not a party I think I want to attend. Now, we take you back to the studio. This has been late night local news. Hon. I swear, my eyes glaze over just knowing I'm watching the news. All the interesting stories happens miles away. What's the last time anything cool happened in Honeywood? Probably like before I was even born. The only freaking interesting thing this town has ever happened to a whole 18 years ago. Hello, uh, that's ancient history. <laughs> Way older than me. This burger phone is so cool. Such a good choice to buy it. Maybe I will just call them, see what they have to say for themselves. Maybe the whole prom and after prom thing was actually a total bus. Not that I let them come over now, after they failed to ask me to go with them. Well, I guess we could have a little sleepover. Oh no, she's desperate. Ah, poop, it's ringing. They're really calling me? Where are my shoes? No, crap, I have to answer first. Hello? <laughs> Oh my god, he got you, answer. Nancy, is that you? Obviously, it's me. Don't be freaking stupid. I need you to listen. You're the only person I know who is out at some party. <laughs> I need you to pay attention. Jeez. Oh. I've been going for like an hour. I'm down on the old lover's lane and my legs are killing me. I'm afraid to even look at myself right now. I had to stop and I saw this payphone. Thank God it still works. But listen, he's coming. I don't have long. He's right behind me. I know he'll be coming any moment. He's going to tear me apart like wet tissue paper. You're the only person who can help me right now. So please. Yeah, when you tell him that someone, a murderer is going to tear you apart like wet tissue paper. I probably wouldn't believe it either. Please, Don. You have to call the co- Wait, no. Oh my god, no. It's too late. He's here. Please. You can't do this. I'm the prom queen. You- Thank god. Bad enough that they don't want to hang out with me, but calling me up just to rub my face in it? Just tell your meathead boyfriend to start list listing baseball players if he's too fast for you, Nance. Don't come crying to me. Hello? Nancy? Wait. Bobby? Bobby here with Nancy? Couldn't even leave it to my imagination, huh? That's just great. Thanks, guys. Who is there? Real mature, a-hole. It's Dawn, your supposed friend. Why do you sound so weird? Out of breath? Hmm? You sound like one of those phone creepers. Be a friend. I can't believe you guys didn't even invite me to come join you. Frick. That abandoned lover's lane is only 10 minutes from here. You could easily have asked me to meet you, at least for a little while. Where are you? Bobby, you've been to my house, or do you not remember me helping you with your damn science homework every test day season? Who is Bob? It's not even a hard place to remember. It's the old Creekmore place, a hole. God, everyone knows my house. I'm 
Welcome. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Gross. Good for you, Bobby. Tell Nance I said. <laughs> Those a holes really don't care if I live or die. Ugh, on top of everything, I'm hungry. Not hungry enough to eat one of Mom's diet casseroles, though. Her cooking is a real horror movie. What I really want is a burger. Fries on the sides? Hell, onion rings, too. Mm, and a whole pizza. Frick, that sounds good. Mom would kill me, but whatever. I deserve something good tonight. Time to make a phone call. Oh, <laughs> she says that, but then she doesn't make the phone call. I guess I'll just look at the rest of the room in the meantime. Mr. Bumps, my pen pal sent him over from her trip to Japan. He's been way further from home than I ever have, or never will. But I don't blame you, Mr. Bumps. You gotta live life for your little foggy self. Oh, froggy. No idea why I even bother with makeup. No one gives a poop what I look like. Especially not me. Ha ha ha! Maybe that's why you don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> You're stinky. <laughs> You're unkept. Oh, hey, my dumb novelty pencil erasers. They look like little shoes. Imagine having feet that small. Sounds la 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 lame. I've got to stop flossing my teeth when I'm in on here. Grossness overlord. Load. Ugh, probably be better if I didn't ha always have stuff stuck in my teeth. Oh god. <laughs> Showering in the middle of the night creeps me way out. Reminds me of that one movie with the guy and that girl. Ugh, what was it called? Werewolf Motel. That was it. She got totally ripped up in the shower. Messed up. The soap smells like apple pie. Or so it would have you believe. It smells more like wet hair. My mom buys the worst stuff. For real. Alright, let's, let's do this phone call. Time to make that call. Hello, I want to place an order. One busted gut burger with large fries, a medium pepperoni pizza, an order of onion rings, and hell, I'll take a chocolate milkshake as well. Thanks. Ugh, oh, yeah. It is for an after prom party. You sure guessed right. It's the Creekmore House on Birch Street. Yes, that's the one. The anniversary of what? Ugh, oh, okay. Well, find a delivery boy who isn't scared to come out here then. Oh my god. And hey, when you deliver, can you come around to the back window instead of the front door? I'll leave it unlocked. Okay, thank you. Oh, I can't wait. Mom and Dad always hassle me about eating junk food because of all the zits. But it's like, who cares? Oh, those are all zits? Whoa. Well, for a second, I thought they were just the art style. <laughs> Whoa, is that the front door? That takeout place has really sped up their delivery time. But I said window. Well, poop. Now my parents are totally going to answer the door. Why can't they just come to the window like I asked? Heaven forbid I get even the tiniest nice thing in my life. Jesus, this girl complains a lot. Like, I feel bad that no one invites you to prom and you have fake friends and all of that jazz. But I'm starting to believe it's all you. <laughs> oh, crap. That doesn't sound good. They're definitely mad. Now I won't even get to eat. Why exactly am I the unluckiest person in the whole what? world again? Poop. If mom's shouting, I'm dead meat. Screw this. I'm locking my bedroom door until they cool off down there. I'll just say I was doing a homework and don't know anything about a pizza. I think I left that paper somewhere on my desk. <laughs> yep, just doing homework. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. I should do nails. Oh. Huh. That'd be fun, at least. No, do your homework, damn it. Hope they don't smudge. Do your homework. <laughs> Careful, Mrs. Bumps. I think you're sitting on my philosophy homework. Is there any implications of a lawless society? Please, who cares? Wait. Don't they usually hold prom after all the homework and stuff finished? Please, who cares? I hate all this obscure nonsense. This class was meant to be easy. Can't believe I'm even thinking of looking at homework on my prom night. Is it so much to ask for just something interesting to happen in my stupid life? To not get left out of every little thing my drunk idiot friends do? I'm sick of being the geek who gets ignored by every single person on earth. You know, if you just talk to them or say, Hey, can I come? I'm sure you'd be good. Whoa, the lights just died. That's so freaky. At least, like, 
I'd be braver if there were other people here. Huh. Ha ha. That's ooh, hoo, hoo. That's better. Made it to the switch in one piece. Good thing I cleaned my room. Now, what was I doing? Ho 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 ho. Oh, come on, not again. I stare to frick. If I had a boyfriend, I'd get him to rewire this whole awful house. My parents should have got it dirt cheap. Well, they did, but only because of that whole mess 18 years ago. I mean, they should have anyway, because it sucks. Why does my brain always go to such weird places when the light turns off suddenly? I just need a distraction. Busy hands. Maybe calm myself down a bit. Splash some water on my face. That always help. Okay, yeah, I guess that keeps her hands busy. <laughs> There's some, like, little bit of spinach in my teeth. I can feel it. Where the frick did I put the floss? Oh, you're so disgusting, girl. This'll help. Frick, no, this is frickin' ridiculous. <laughs> At least there's a switch just outside the bathroom. I don't have to walk across the room this time. That's better. Aha, ha 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 ha. I'm just gonna floss my tooth, though. <laughs> That's not... That That is it. I'm about to go psycho on whatever is making the lights go off. <coughs> oh. Well, that kind of sucks. Okay, so I started picking stuff off of the ground. I should probably clean these up. Why do something if you're not going to do it properly, as my mom would say? I did say I cleaned this pig hole of a room tonight. Not like I have anything better to do. Yeah, she did mention that. I don't know if that's going to change much, though. This movie sucked all blood and gore. Can I pick that up? Oh yeah, I guess I could pick them all up. So just FYI of where we currently are. Um, dude already peered in the window. Lights turned off. And I gotta floss my teeth. I think that's, that's where it is. Okay. So was that all that I needed? I can't keep carrying all of this crap around with me. Better make a pile. Uh huh. So it's like the murderer gonna step on this and then die. <laughs> Much better, I think. There's eff so enough effort for one night. This is something for future me to think about, which makes it someone else's problem as far as I'm concerned right now. Oh. Okay, so I guess that is gonna happen. Weird. But we will accept it. And now it's flossing time. This will help. Frick, no, this is freaking ridiculous. At least there's a switch in the bathroom. That's better. Splashing a bit of cold water on my face is great for calming down, but it doesn't do much for the crushing grasp of rejection. That is it. I am about to go psycho. <laughs> the dude trips on it. What the hell? Oh my god. Nice prank, a-hole. Way to dread. <laughs> it's like you've never been in my bedroom before. Everyone knows to look out for the piles of crap everywhere. Let's see if you're feeling as brave without that stupid mask. Wait, you're not Bobby. Uh, sorry I stomped on your head, hand. This sort of thing really could only happen to me. <laughs> What the heck, Soul Survivors? <laughs> that thing stopped him? It killed the murderer? I mean, it didn't kill him, but it stopped the murderer in its place? What did he do? Break his leg tripping over something? He tripped and fell on his knife? The dude's, his face is wrecked. What happened to his face? <laughs> did he slip, fall on the handle, poor side, got himself beat up? Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? You know what? Game number two time. <laughs> game number two, The Supper. It's a game about a person making dinner, hears a mysterious voice, and say comes to it. That's about it. Also made it in Unity and found it on Steam. Very short game, supposedly. Overwhelmingly positive. The Supper! <laughs> a bite-sized game by Octav Octavi Navarro. This one looks really, really well done, it seems. 
for how short it's gonna be. Psst, Miss Appleton, wake up. Oh God, what a pro. Can sleep standing up or sitting up? I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Oh, this must be the voice. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? <laughs> What's up with this accent? I don't know. But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. I've chosen it, and I'm sticking with it. Customers will be arriving any minute now, and we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Oh, okay. No empty bellies for anyone. That's for sure. Soup. How do I do a thing with my soup? Okay, I guess I did the thing with my soup. She's not really a uh, inspecting thinker type person, huh? Swordfish tail. <laughs> tug tug. She's kind of adorable for the creature that she is. <laughs> Which is like part insect, part human maybe? Question mark? Ah, uh, I'm gonna need a lit candle. Too much darkness. I know, it's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs> Alright, well I got some fire tongues. Wait, I already have it with me. I'm guessing I'm gonna grab the ambers and then use the ambers on the light. Which is an interesting way to light a candle, but hey. Technically it works. It does, in fact, technically work. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. I best get my water ready. Oh, am I a good employee of the voice? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my restaurant. No time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Fresh clients. Ooh, am I gonna cook them? Why don't you go and make our special sauce? It's ready for them. Oh, they're gonna get some special sauce, that's for sure. Oh, geez, I just realized those are my legs. I thought I had four arms and they were just using like crutches or something. Oh, geez. Mmm, smells delicious. Wait, are you also inside of me? <gasps> Do you hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. Here they come. <laughs> I'm laughing from my own. <laughs> uh, from my own voice acting. Do you think it could be Thumb? Oh, Thumb. Capital Thumb. You know what capital Thumb equals? I hate Thumb. Customers. Ooh, they look kind of douchey, especially the shark. Third! Third! Look, the chest. Oh, these are the men we've been looking for. Pirates? Let's find them a place to sit quickly. Alright, that's pretty easy. <laughs> so, uh, you gonna remove that octopus on your head, or are you the octopus on the head? <gasps> I think it's the octopus on the head. That, that is dope. So, what would the gentleman like to start with? Yeah, right, let's talk to the mind controlling figure. Fish. Oh, spicy red swordfish. The personal favorite. A mouth watering delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega 3. <laughs> Very healthy. <laughs> Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right, you were wrong. Oh, goddammit, voice in my head. I gotta keep listening. Excellent choice. Pigeon a la sauce rosé is our chef's specialty. Aren't I the chef? So that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind controlling beast on the left. A 
pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. What is the secret sauce? Come on, Miss Appleton. Go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipes list on the kitchen's wall if you have any problem remembering them. Alright, well first I better go open this chest. Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. That money will be yours. Okay. Delicious. An exotic treat. Who's, who's the one going, uh? An excellent choice. I'm guessing this one's a deep voice one. And then this one's going, and then this one's going, <laughs> all right, so how do we prepare this food? Special sauce, is this it? All right, one wild pigeon covered with special sauce. We'll make a one at a time. Where can I get my pigeon? Oi, where do you get your pigeon from? Tug, tug. Oh, how many more do I need? I got solid wax. Where do I get the bird? Do I go outside? Damn it, now I do need- Why can't I just carry this with me? A blue swordfish tail? Oh, alright, that one I have here. One chili pepper covered with special sauce. And we got that. Do we have a knife of any kind? I do not seem to have a knife of any kind. How can I get the swordfish tail? Tug, tug. <laughs> She's adorable. <laughs> Uh, I guess I better go out there then. See what I can find. Right? Oh, I was right. Wow. Enjoy a lobster inn. Be best place in town for a snack. A wooden cart. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, the voice in my head. Oh, how do I get this bird? Mm, I can't get you. I throw solid wax at you. How about an empty water bag, Jag? It will kill you somehow. Knock you unconscious, because I would most definitely hit you. Yas. How are the waters tonight? Oh, this is the boat they arrived in? And there's only three of them? Wow! Oh, God. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Oh, a fishing pole. A boot? I need a wet boot for. Hey, Pete, you want a boot? Oh, that's it from the fishing pole? Rope ladder. Oh. Can I undo it? Nope. She's not that pro enough. Alright. Well, uh, not sure what I need the wet boot for. I think this will work. Oh my god, it actually worked! Out of all the things, I didn't think that would do it. Yowzas. That's the main ingredient for our pigeon supreme a la sauce rosé. Now let's finish the dish. Okay, we'll do the dish one at a time because I have bad memory. And we got an inventory space. Clearly she only has four pockets. Four pockets. Covered with special sauce. Not even gonna cook in embers or anything at all. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. Alright, I need a plump human head, a slimy tongue, and a covered with special sauce. Well, I know everyone's hungry, but yours coming out first. I know, I should be starring them all at the same time. Bon appétit, monsieur. But you gotta understand. I only have one more inventory slot. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. <laughs> Hilarious. Don't worry, they used to pass out in taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. Oh man, he just loved it so much, my gosh. <laughs> what are you thinking, Deadly Saw? Shark, is that food? 
food. Alright, so clearly the sauce is poisonous, as we all suspected. Now I need to get that red pepper, but I might as well cut the... Oh, Ashy, in case I cut a tongue, huh? I should go back out there. Oh, oh, I know where I'm gonna get the tongue from! Oh, that's cruel. Alright, well, now I need to know if... Okay, I can't go this way. I can't pull the lever. So I guess I'm just going to... Uh, I guess I'm just going to... He's not hungry. <laughs> Clearly he's not. I guess the red hot peppers are the fly fires, huh? Are you kidding me, Miss Appleton? You never cut anything with those rusty scissors. Oh, how do I de-rust you? Uh. 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 Into the sauce. Oh, man. I don't know what to do now. Can I sharpen it somehow? Uh. Fish. Well, that's not with the solid wax, anyways. In the empty jug. Special sauce. No. Hmm. Can I cut your tongue off? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a great idea. <laughs> oh, a doorbell. Ding, 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 ding. That's it. <laughs> oh, duh. Rope. Hello. How long have you guys been screaming at me? It's okay. You can write it in the comments down below. I just know it can't be an absurd number. <laughs> Based on tie stamps. Alright, let's go this way first, because it's nice and bright, and it's a cat in this corner, and- Ooh! Hmm, I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Oh. Sip! Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Oh. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Uh, ha ha, you deserve it, you piece of poop head. <sighs> uh, apparently, I don't want to look at your face. That's how disgusted I am. Ah, disgusting. Let's go down the trap door. Ah, oh, red hot chili pepper. Wow. <gasps> Bazunga. <laughs> the seedling looks completely posh. We'll need to find a nice drink. Uh, well, ah, uh, why is it empty? Do you like ocean water? <laughs> I like how I showed the booty. Booty, booty. Can I not take it? Yeah, you're right. It's it's too big brain to do, huh? Alright, maybe I gotta sink somewhere. Go. Don't stop. You got hungry customers. They're angry. They're like, why did he get his food first? And he's so full that he's now doing the sleep sleep. Empty pot. No. Where do I get water from? It's not outside. Uh, solid wicks in the special sauce. In the embers. In the empty pot. Oh. Oh. Really? That's weird. What am I doing that for? Alright, well. Let me just cut that off. Boop, boop. Damn, what a chunk. Do you want it in there? Still don't want that. Wait, wait, wait. The special sauce should be added at the end, Miss Appleton. Just follow the recipe. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do with this boiling wax. It's parched, and I don't know how to unparch it. Hmm? Maybe I can just grab it, and then I'll be good. Water, 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 water. Was there like water somewhere in the boat that I missed? That's usually the case. Eh, she doesn't want to get it. She ain't about that life. Get up there. <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's gross. Ew. Oh, worst tavern in the world. Oh. Hmm. 
What a bang, what a boom. Fastest growing chili pepper, pepper in our lives. Get up there. Get down there. You guys ready? We're gonna make some spicy special sword swordfish tail. Which gotta be the most normal of the three meals. Until you learn that, uh, all the things that's being used. Perfect! Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Special sauce. Delicious. Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. And ready it is. Here you go, sir. Oh, you're a fungus? Bon appetit. It's a mind controlling fungus. But that's clearly an octopus thing. Oh, what? That was crazy way to eat. Ah, uh, yes, a satisfied stomach. This delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. Literally, ha ha, do you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh. <laughs> that was kind of funny. You gotta admit that. <laughs> Alright, what do we need for the last one? We need a plump human hand. And a slimy tongue. Followed by the special sauce. Oh, I knew it. Slimy tongue. Don't mind me when I just grabbed it. Mm -hmm. God dang sharks. Disgusting. What was that lever for? Did I use it already? I probably did. Just don't remember. Yeah. I don't think a skeleton hand counts, right? I guess it does count. I thought it would have to be nice and, well, humanly fresh. I guess the bone gives it flavor? Or maybe a shark likes to eat bones. I didn't think anyone would like to eat bones. Alright. Do I dip it in here first? Oh. 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 I fake it. Perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Boop, 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 boop. Love the music. <laughs> well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue soup is ready to be served. Here you go, my sharky friends. Deadly shark. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy. Can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? <laughs> Great. Now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. He's not hungry. Oh, how do I clean him? Right. See, look, it's a fungus. That's crazy. How do I clean you? Mm -hmm. Boiling wax. No. Mm -hmm. Special sauce. Embers. Not in the kitchen, apparently. Well, I don't know what to do with you. You're just not hungry. Each and every one. Oh, yeah, your, your chest, of course. Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. Oh, but voice in my head. I gotta know what's going on out here. Ooh, a wooden cart. Genius. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. Then let's get going before it's too late. Dum dee doom. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho in a bottle of oh here you are. Am I just gonna dump them in the sea? Oh we're gonna toss them in the jet oh oh Where are we gonna toss them in? We've never used a grinder with such a large specimen. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. I knew it. 
Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. Thank you, voice in my head. As long as you let me continue to enjoy life in this, I will also listen. Oh, hey. That's what they brought in? A dead sailor? Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all of you done for me. Oh, that was you. At last, I'm allowed to rest, and so are you. Oh no, my husband. I have so many good memories of you, and I working side by side. You were my dearest friend. Damn. In the end, the twist, a touching story. When those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that nugget gold from them. I want it fair and square. Oh man. While I was anguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please, find a quiet place to bury my bones near the old well where I just like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. Now, my friend. You're the only reason I continue living after death. No. Damn. So sad. He died. Because he won gold nugget fair and square. And got locked in the chest. And then his ghostly voice haunted her until she saved him. <laughs> It was sweet up until the point I f figured that part out. <laughs> the Supper! Octavia Navarro. Good job. Good, good job. I thought it was a cool short horror game. It wasn't that scary, but it was a cool short game in the theme of horror regardless. I wanted to bet that this was the developers um, uh, testing around the waters of Unity and seeing what they can do and putting it out there to see what people think of it. And I do think it was a good job. Good music, pretty good, decent writing, good gameplay, thanks for playing, overall, cool sprite art, it's all neato in the end, enjoyed this little game, please consider supporting the dev, so we can cre keep creating games, hell yeah, you can do so by buying the PDF art book DLC, thank you for your generosity, triple hearts all around. Noise. Just noise. Alright, you guys. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed the two short horror games. And if you did, hit that like button. Let me know which of the two you enjoyed more. Me, personally, I enjoyed this one a bit more than the other one. It, it was more in-depth in its story. Unless there's something I'm missing in the previous game that I didn't know because I'm pretty sure I got the true ending by tripping up the serial killer with all my junk laying around piling up somehow. It was weird. <laughs> but anyways, comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, later! Ooh, ooh, ooh,